Hey guys, it's Mark from Migraine Professional. I used to suffer from migraines and headaches until about five years ago when I figured out how to beat them and I've been migraine free ever since. Now I teach other people how to do the same and in this video, we're going to be talking about ketones, the ketogenic diet and migraines and headaches. So, it's really important to understand and a great place for us to start is a 2013 study where they put a number of participants on the ketogenic diet and they found that 90% of them had a reduction in the frequency of their migraine headaches. This is huge. 90% is a massive number. It had a massive effect. So let's get into it. So the ketogenic diet has been used for a long, long time, um, but it's only been up until the last about 100 years that it's been clinically applied and clinically studied, and that's been with epilepsy. Now we know epilepsy is very closely related to the migraine aura. There are similar mechanisms going on. Uh, cortical spreading depression is a very common factor that kind of combines them. And, and the common chemical that is going through this process and, and becoming imbalanced when we're going through epilepsy or migraine is glutamate. And so studies have shown that ketones and the ketogenic diet will actually reduce glutamate levels. So. What are ketones? What is the ketogenic diet? Now, when you go onto a ketogenic diet, what you're simply doing is you're removing sources of too many sugars, too many carbohydrates, and you're eating more fats and generally more proteins. And so what starts to happen is that your body can only hold about 24 hours of sugar, of glucose, in the body at any one time. Everything else it puts into fat. So what starts happening is that after your body runs out of glucose because you're not constantly filling it with sugars and carbohydrates that are easy, quick fuel, it starts to turn over to using fats as fuel and it breaks down the fat into ketones. So where regularly it would use sugars from our liver and it would turn them into glucose and feed the brain with glucose with sugar, blood sugar. Now it begins using ketones as a source of energy and a source of fuel for the brain. Now the, the really amazing thing is that ketones are a very slow and steady source of fuel. The sugar is known as the preferred source of fuel, but what starts happening when you're constantly bouncing blood sugar back and forth and back and forth and you're binging and eating lots of sugars and your body's having a tough time handling uh, its blood sugar is that you start to become insulin resistant. So the process that your body uses to take sugar and make energy from it and your brain uses to kind of drive its, its ability to think and function properly, if that starts to break down. So ketones are a great way to smooth that out to regulate our blood sugar and to help our body um, sort of relax and smooth out into a more steady state where there aren't constant uh, blood sugar drops and spikes and drops and spikes. Now, a couple of things about the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet not only is it great for producing ketones, which our brain and body can use as fuel, which is a very long lasting and steady fuel source, but a ketogenic diet will also generally, it will remove a lot of top trigger foods. Things like, like grains and, and wheat and rice, um, those will be removed because they're high carbohydrate foods. They're high sugar foods. Now, these foods aren't necessarily good or bad. I mean, wheat is really debatable. If you're experiencing migraines, you should really be careful with wheat. But they're not necessarily a, a lot of these top triggers are not necessarily a good or bad food. It depends on you. You want to investigate. You want to see what your body is, is uh, having problems with. That's why I created the food triggers guide or going on an illegal antigenic elimination diet. Um, and so it, re it reduces a lot of the, the big top triggers. And it also, um, it, it forces you to cut out a lot of processed foods, a lot of packaged foods. It makes you eat more whole foods. And as we know, whole foods are the basis of making sure that we have strong foundational health whenever we're going to enter anything that, that requires our body to heal and our body to recover and repair. We want to go back to what our body evolved with, what we have, uh, what our genes have come to expect over millions of years. That is what's worked over millions of years. And that's what our body needs to function properly, not processed and packaged um, pills and powders. 
So the next thing is that uh, many, many times it's often, um, it's often uh, kind of confused and, and put down uh, the, the ketogenic diet specifically because of fat, because you're eating more fat and you're eating more cholesterol. And so I'd encourage anyone um, to kind of to look at the fat myth and the cholesterol myth because it's, it's been very debunked um, in, in 2019 now. Um, it's, it's been debunked, the idea that if you're, going, if you're eating more fat, you're going to be more unhealthy, you're at more risk for heart disease. It's more dangerous to spike your blood sugar nonstop than to be eating fat or cholesterol. Um, and as we know, our brain is made of fat. Every single one of the cells in our body are made of fat and cholesterol. And all of our hormones, all of our sex hormones and stress hormones are made from cholesterol. So we really, we want to um, kind of put that myth aside. That's, that's not, not true. And then, um, but again, we want to make sure that we're, we're eating high quality sources of fat because fat, just like our brain is a source of, of storage and our fat stores are a source of storage for toxins. So is the fat that we eat. We want to stay away from conventionally raised meats. Um, we want to eat a, a healthy grass fed, pasture raised, um, meats that are that are full of healthy fats, really high in omega threes, lots of um, healthy fats in there. The next big thing that that the ketogenic diet helps to combat, and and the the big risk factors for migraines are hunger and obesity. If you're obese, you have a much much higher rate of of developing migraines or experiencing migraines. And as we all know, hunger. Skipping meals and fasting is one of the biggest, if not the biggest trigger of migraines. So the ketogenic diet, it actually, because you're switching over and so regularly, you're, you're eating carbohydrates, you're eating sugars, and that, that gives your body fuel for some time. And then as soon as that starts to drop down, your body gets hungry and it, it starts to make that switch over to burning fat. But in that space between burning carbohydrates and burning fat, this is where you trigger because your body is going through a very difficult transition process. And this is too much for the already weak migraine brain and it pushes us over our threshold. It triggers us. So when we're in the ketogenic diet, this helps us make a nice, smooth transition. It, it, it kind of cuts out that, that, that entire sugar to carbohydrates, uh, sugar to, to fats transition, and it helps us stay nice and smooth and just continue burning fats. And then we eat more fat and we continue burning fat. Um, and, and of course, with any ketogenic diet, we're still eating lots of vegetables. We want our vegetables. Vegetables are great. They're feeding our microbiome, which feeds us. Um, and, and we're still eating lots of vegetables. We're just cutting out a lot of the high sugar, high carbohydrate vegetables. And of course, I mean, you wanna see what your body reacts to. Everyone's a little different. So the next big thing that ketones help with is oxidative stress. As we know, oxidative stress is the one common connection behind all migraines and their triggers. So oxidative stress is found to be the, the, the kind of unifying principle behind migraines. See our video on uh, the one common connection behind every migraine. And ketones actually block the, the same process that the, the new drug CGRP is blocking, ketones do the same thing. They're blocking it. So, I mean, um, it's a lot easier to do a diet than, than have to take a drug and, and spend a lot of money on, on pharmaceuticals. So um, this may be worth a try if we're kind of on the, on the fence. And then, of course, metabolic function. So... Not only do we start to provide a steady source of fuel to the brain, but we start to fill in the holes because as we become more sugar and carbohydrate dependent, our metabolism starts to break down. That, that fat side of the metabolism starts to break down. We want to be able to have a nice transition between uh, eating carbohydrates and eating fats and maybe having to miss a meal or fasting. We want to make sure that we want to have, ideally as a healthy person, we can transition through those periods without a problem. What starts to happen, especially in, in many people with migraines, is that their carbohydrate metabolism starts to break down and they become dependent on sugars because their body is not switching over to ketones properly. 
because they're constantly eating these carbohydrates, they're constantly uh, forced to rely on these carbohydrates. So it's a nice support for us. It gives our body extra support, gives our brain extra support, and it gives us that nice steady fuel. Even if we only uh, test it out for a short amount of time, it's great to try out. And then, so there was a study, I'll link to it in the description, where two twin sisters uh, got on the ketogenic diet and within three days of getting on the ketogenic diet, their migraines were gone completely. So it's big. I mean, there's, there's a lot going on here and ketones are, are an effective fuel for the brain. I personally find that when I do intermittent fasting, I function really well. But again, you always want to make sure before you make any changes that you, you go to your doctor, you talk to a nutritionist, you talk to a functional medicine practitioner, and uh, they help you understand what is going on in the body and how your body is going to react to it because everyone's different at the end of the day. So let me know in the comments below, have you tried a ketogenic diet? Have you entered ketosis before? And have you actually uh, measured your blood levels of ketones uh, to see how deep into ketosis you went? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Hey, it's Mark from MyGrownProfessional.com. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe in the bottom left corner. And if you want to learn more about migraines and headaches than you've ever known before, and understand what causes them, what creates them, and what you can do about them, make sure to go to MigraineProfessional.com. Thanks.